Blizzard has recently changed how you unlock flying in patch 9.2 of Shadowlands and it's way easier and way better than the previous method. In this video we're going to go over all the steps and everything you need to do to unlock flying in the new patch. Before we begin I would just like to say that about 97% of my uh, viewers aren't subscribed so if that's one of you please consider subscribing um, it really helps out the channel you know I'm just starting out I'm just growing and it really gives me support to and motivation to kind of keep moving forward and keep making this content I think I have some cool content planned down the road that will be super exciting and super uh, fun to watch so if um, if you enjoy anything at all about these videos or if you keep coming back and watching and aren't subscribed yet just click the subscribe button uh, double check make sure you subscribe sometimes YouTube shows videos to people uh, even when you're not subscribed like the video and uh, comment down below if you have any questions or if you have anything else you want me to show. Uh, enjoy the video. So the old method of getting flying involved this, the uh, Cypher console, and required you to have researched at least one point in every single talent on this little tree here. And uh, that took a while. It took about 17 days of just pure research, um, not counting any uh, console currency you'd have to do uh, to get to grind it up. Uh, now granted, if you were here for the 17 whole days straight, you know, grinding the zone, then you'd have enough currency to do this. But it really punished those that uh, weren't able to log in every day or just didn't want to, you know, devote hours of their time every day just playing World of Warcraft, which, you know, fair. A lot of people have lives. Um, but uh, recently Blizzard has changed it to an achievement, which I'm a much bigger fan of, called Unlocking the Secrets. And it's a six-step achievement here. Um, and each of these are pretty easy to get. Uh, none of them are time gated except for one. And that one um, is a weekly lockout to the quest. So it's not even that bad as long as you just log in once a week. So they're pretty easy to get. So the first and easiest, in my opinion, to get of these achievements, none of them are very hard, is a means to the end. And this just simply requires you to complete the um, 9.2 storyline. Uh, a means to the end is the fifth chapter um, of the story. You can see that, um, if I check out the achievement guide here, it is around the fifth slot. I'm not gonna spoil anything, um, but it doesn't take too long to complete. Um, you'll get it. You'll get chapters one, two, and three on the first week. Chapter four on the second week, and chapter five on the third week. So you'll have fun. Um, assuming you do the rest of them, you'll have flying unlocked by the um, third week of the patch, which is when Mythic comes out, which uh, isn't too bad in my opinion. The next achievement is exploring Zareth, Mor Zareth Mortis, and this one's again pretty easy. Uh, you do go to I think almost every zone over the course of the story as well. But, you know, simply just explore, fill out your map. I've never been here, so you don't actually have to go here to fill it out. But, you know, all these areas here you got to go to. There's someone here, down here, Forge of Afterlives in the middle, branches here, Haven, and this area. And I'm not 100% sure if you have to go to the Spulcher, but uh, it unlocks, um, I think, week two at the end of that story. So it's super easy to get to if you don't need to. This one, not hard, super easy. Uh, most of them are uh, adventure-based, too, which is which is really nice. Uh, achievement needed is uh, Curious Collections, and this is again another kind of adventuring achievement, which is Discover Five Hidden Treasures of Zareth, Mor of Zareth Mortis. Um, there's a huge list of these, as about I believe there's about 20 or so of them, and I'll be having a video closer or after the expansion launches of all their locations. But um, you can see them on your on your mini map. So just whenever you're running around exploring, doing uh, world content and all that, um, finding five of them is pretty easy. And then once you find five, you get your little achievement achievement you need to do uh, to unlock flying is adventures in Zareth Mortis which is complete 10 of the following special encounters in Zareth Mortis so this is your rare killing achievement um, now there's about 20 of them I believe and I haven't done this on the PTR because um, it's PTR and I don't want to wait around for rares to spawn and I haven't gotten super lucky while I have been on uh, doing things but uh, there's a bunch of them you can choose from uh, a lot of the rares in this area um, have an icon on your map um, so you can find one See if one's up right now. I don't see one, but I'll uh, I'll post a video of uh, of it if I if I find one. Anyways, they have this icon on your map of um, a little skull with a diamond around it, and um, as well as putting an announcement in chat uh, about when they're you know coming up. So normally it's pretty easy to tell um, when one of these uh, rares are spawning. You do ten of those rares and you get your achievement and you're closer to flying. So the first two achievements that actually require you to go out of your way to do is called, boom, Path to Enlightenment, and it requires you to do three uh, side quests around a zone. Now, the side quests themselves are this one, uh, Enlightened Exodus in Haven, Look Who I Found in Haven, and then uh, Lost Grace from Pilgrim's uh, Grace. Uh, one of them is given by Al Dalil from uh, this area over here, right where I am, this guy. One of them is right over here. 
And we got a little salamander beside him. And the last one is up this way in Pilgrim's Grace. You kind of just leave uh, towards the uh, Sepulchre of the First Ones raid teleport. And you go over here to this guy, Olim. And he has the last one, Lost Grace. And then you complete those three side quests, and you get your achievement, and you're so close to getting flying. So the last achievement, Tales of the Exile, uh, requires you to go around and collect seven uh, little scrolls telling about um, Ferrum. And um, each scroll, uh, you can see the first one right here, um, itself has a kind of a CD to when they can be collected, uh, similar to how flowers work, and it's about 10 minutes to respawn. Uh, hoping this doesn't stay, but uh, or if it does say that, that the thing is shorted, but I guess 10 minutes isn't too bad. But uh, And then whenever you get them, you can sell them for 10 gold. So even, you know, doing this, you get about uh, 70 gold, because there's seven of them you have to find, I believe. Yeah, there's seven of them. So the first one is right here, uh, and I'll have the coordinates for each of them posted um, on the video in a second. There you go. The first one's right here. They're just little scrolls. And they shine. And it's super easy to spot them. So again, right there. Dig it. We click it. We grab the book. And we right click it to read it. And that's the first one. The second one is up right here. Uh, right under Bitterbeak's nest. You can see it kind of over there in the distance. So we're just going to kill Bitterbeak really quick. <laughs> and we'll be able to grab it. All right, so that's dead. I mean, walk up, click on the tome, boop, grab it, read it, and move on. This is the third of the notes right here under this white bush here. It is right uh, outside of Exiles Hollow. You can just take the flight path right there and just walk down. Flight path is literally right over there. And again, just walk up, click it, read it, and we're done. This is the location of the fourth of the Fearman Exile pages. Um, it is located right here, uh, right on the edge, right by this Echo Jiro. And again, we just go up to it, click it, grab the thing, and boop, read it, and we're done. This one is right here, inside this cave here. You go inside, there's um, there's three enemies in here, which I've already killed. You go in, go to the right, it's right here up against the wall. And again, we click it, grab it, open it, read it done so the sixth of the uh fear and exile pages is right here very far away and it's simply behind this big tall structure here right by this uh scarabid body click it open it read it and you're done the last of the pages is the last of the pages is right here on this little sand mound here now there's a big rare uh here when i showed up a big worm but um you kill him and it's kind of buried in the sand pile right here you click it and you get the achievement and you're done with that. And there you have it. If you followed uh, exactly what I've done in this video and done all the things, that, um, the steps and everything that I've showed, then you will have unlocked flying in Zareth Motors and you can safely soar through the sky around the big orbs and check out all the little islands and, you know, it's easier to find treasure, it's easier to move around. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, again, please uh, subscribe, comment, like if you enjoyed the content. We're getting close to 100 subs, so I'm looking forward to that. And um, stick around. I have some cool content coming up uh, in the channel and uh, have a good day.